and welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and this is brought to you by favecrafts.com. Thank you for joining us today, and we're doing something a little different. I'm talking to you about how to make a bow. We're going to hand tie a bow. You don't need a bow maker. You are the bow maker. So in traditional Good Knit Kisses style, I'm going to give you not only instructions on how to make one of these, but also some tips along the way. What you'll need today is some ribbon. And today we're going to work with wire ribbon. I think it's a great one, especially um, if you're new to this. It's very forgiving. You're going to need some scissors and a pipe cleaner or some sort of floral wire. And also, I wanted to show you why you want this ribbon. Um, this one here does not have any wire on it. It's great. It looks wonderful. But say you're going to travel or you're going to pack this away for Christmas or some other holiday uh, and want to get it back out again. Uh, your things may flatten over time, your bows, if you want to reuse them, and the wire ribbon will just fluff right back up. I've just taken this bow that was smashed, and I just fluffed it back up. So see how you can kind of take your fingers and fluff it out, and we're going to do something sort of like that today. I'm going to show you how to make the bow. It's going to come out stacked like this, and then we're going to fan it out. We're going to take our ribbon. This one was just, um, says 100 feet on it, two and a half inch wide. Um, I like to buy a big amount. The 100 feet is about 33 yards or so. And I'm going to pull this out. And I want to have a pipe cleaner handy. What I've done is already taken one and just cut it in half. And I'm using a contrasting color just so you can see it on the tutorial. But for this one, I would get a gold as well instead of a silver. Uh, you can also use a solid pipe cleaner. If you're going to tie these to packages, uh, you could match the pipe cleaner to the color of the package if you want to mask it that way, if you can't have one that matches your ribbon. So we're going to take our ribbon, and on this one it doesn't have a good or a bad side on it, but uh, if we have a ribbon that has a pattern, we want to follow the outside and ke always keep that on top where we can see it. So I'm going to take my ribbon, and I'm going to roll it to where the pretty part is on the top side and I'm making a little area here. I'm going to hold it with my left hand. Now I'm right-handed and I'm going to shape it with my right hand. So I'm holding it with my left. If you're left-handed then just hold it over here and shape it. Um, but if it works better for you the other way then do whatever feels good. So I'm just going to kind of scrunch it up and pinch it and hold it here. I've got two fingers holding it this way. We're going to loop this out and come back and pinch and hold. Take it and then twist it and hold the twisted part and then make another loop. Now when I pull this loop out what I want to do is kind of match this loop here. So what's going to happen is this loop in the middle is beginning your center and so these are going to be the first two loops so I want to look at them and see if they're kind of the same length. If not then I pull one out to make it long enough to match. So once we have the first starting loops, then we're going to make a twist here and we're going to come back to this side and we're just going to keep stacking it. So pull this one out and you can put your ribbon in a bowl off to the side or somewhere and you can match these first two on this side to the same length. Twist, move over again, match these loops, twist. Pull the bow back, pull the ribbon back again, make it a little bit longer this time. Twist, go to the other side and try and match it again. So we're going to pull out a little longer and here's another time where you can grab this with one finger and grab the other one with the other finger, pull it up and try and match. See I've got them the same length and they're a little longer than the first couple. And we'll stop here. Now, uh, I'm going to make this what I call a three loop bow, where it's got three loops on one side of the middle and three loops on the other side. But um, a lot of times I like to make a five loop bow where I'm going to have two shorter here and then three stacked on the back and three stacked on the back. So we have a five loops here and a five loop here. What I do want to do is just pop it over here and pop it over here, and that's how my bow is going to look. Before we finish it off, though, I want to show you how to make a tail. Pull this over um, the last of our ribbon, get some extra length. So we've got a nice extra big loop. And we're going to 
clamp it on with our finger and now I'm going to take my scissors and cut this extra slack of the ribbon and there it goes just we don't need that ribbon anymore and we're going to take our pipe cleaner stick it through the middle section this middle loop just find it again lay it down to where you've caught all of it this extra beginning part that started your loop make sure that it's on top of there and now we're just going to wrap it around and take it and twist it tight like you're just sealing up a bag of bread or something just twist it real tight and I just kind of pull this together and I can use that to tape it down to a package and so now I'm going to pull this bottom loop out I'm going to flatten it on this end and I'm now I'm going to make a cut and I can I'm going to separate these and I can cut it at an angle and then I end up having two pointed uh, ribbons or I can take it and it's already folded I'm going to fold it in half again and then I'm going to go from the end of here and cut inwards uh, cut upwards towards the bow on the fold side so these are my outside areas where my wires are and this is the inside crease and I'm going to cut that and look at that got nice tails now I'm going to come back here and I've got my tails on here and I've got my middle ribbon and my middle loop so I'm going to leave that where it is and now I'm going to take these two side loops I'm going to take this holding tight here I'm going to yank it hard and kind of pull it and move it down and then pull this one tight here so I have two sticking out and then one in the middle do the same thing over here leave this one the same pull one down pull one up and now I have this terrific three loop bow three loops on each side so it's six loops total I have two little tails that I can kind of manipulate and move around this wire I have this little trash piece here and I've got this wonderful pretty bow that I can tie on a package I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for joining me again in favecrafts.com. This is Kristen with Good Knit Kisses. Happy crafting!